Good morning guys, today is Monday. It's actually solar eclipse Monday, except I'm in LA, so apparently here you won't really see it too much. Anyways, it is 6.40 in the morning. Um, I just did my bed, I woke up like 20 minutes ago, and now it's time to make my breakfast. And in my head, it's already fall. Even though it's not fall, I already think it's fall. That's why I have my pumpkin spice already on my counter. Today I'm gonna make my usual waffles with pumpkin spice. I just got back so I need to like unpack everything today and go to Ikea. And I'm gonna light my pumpkin apple candle. I'm telling you, mm, that sounds so good. In my head, it's fall. So it's gonna be fall in my house. Okay, so I'm just heating up my waffle maker right here. I already prepared some of my waffle last night. This is just a little bit of flaxseed, a whole lot of pumpkin spice, a little bit of coconut flour, and one scoop of protein, so basically half a serving of protein powder. And now I'm gonna add egg whites, whisk it up, and then put it in the waffle maker. It smells like pumpkin spice. Normally I cook all of it all at once, but my machine has been weird lately because for some reason it just like blows up and goes all over the place so yeah i'm gonna try cooking it half and half and let's see if that works see what i mean i don't know why that happens it also comes out super dry like this when in the past this never happened in the past it always come out like a big fluffy waffle so i seriously think something's wrong with my machine this is just this looks ugly even though it tastes great I, like i know it looks ugly but i promise you it tastes delicious but it's just the machine here it is so i topped it with all my favorite berries and more pumpkin spice it smells like pumpkin spice because of the waffle and because of the candle and yay it's time to have breakfast and my little coffee which i love so much all right guys so i went on the elliptical i just took a shower and now it is 9 25 which means the full eclipse is in exactly an hour here in la and i'm gonna start just sitting down, meditating, writing my intentions, writing down my goals because the solar eclipse is a time of like really intensified energy. So it's exactly when you should um, write down all your intentions because it has a greater capacity of manifesting. So I'm gonna take advantage of the eclipse and I'm gonna start journaling and meditating right now. I'm gonna try to film the eclipse, but from my apartment, you can't really see the sun or anything. So let's see if maybe you can see the sky get slightly darker, but yeah, I'm so excited. This is a good day. Alright guys, so as you see that was a super quick little makeup tutorial. This makeup literally takes me 10 or 12 minutes and it's perfect for every day. And after around two hours of deciding what I needed to do, because I need to buy like a bookshelf, after like two hours of trying to plan it in my head, I was able to figure out what I needed to do. So now I'm going to Ikea, then I'm gonna go to Target and buy pantry organizers, like reorganizing my entire kitchen. And then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, the pharmacy, and then back home. <sighs> okay guys, so I went to Ikea, super excited. I was like, yeah, found everything I can do this it was not very successful I mean it was successful but it wasn't so I got to Ikea and I was in a super rush because there were so many people since people are like getting to college here in LA now so it was packed I was like okay I can do this I'm just gonna run through everybody and go so I went downstairs because I already knew where everything was and I tried to get my first piece of furniture and it was extremely unsuccessful and also super embarrassing. Basically, I didn't calculate how heavy it was gonna be and it was super long and I didn't realize how long it was gonna be. So I just pulled it out and I tried to like slide it down. Well, it, slide, it, it slid down onto my cart so it made my cart go flying because I didn't get the flat cart, I got the regular cart, stupid mistake. The thing was so heavy that I fell with the thing and it fell over me so I basically fell on my face at Ikea in front of everybody and there were like two people behind me in that aisle and they started cracking up it was it was really embarrassing I'm not gonna lie I was like 
Oh my god, this would happen to me. I even got cut. You see? It's like bleeding too. Just got back home. I'm about to make some lunch. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm gonna have some chicken that I've been marinating since yesterday. Some avocado and some roasted peppers. All right, here's my lunch. Some chicken roasted roasted bell peppers, these pickled red onions that I actually made myself and I'm pretty proud of them, and some avocado. Super colorful plate. They say that when you're eating healthy, you should opt for more colors. All right guys, so for dinner today, I'm gonna make a cauliflower shrimp fried rice because I bought baby shrimp for the first time and I thought it would be cool to try them out. Just beating one egg, and I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna make that start cooking before I put everything else. All right, so here is my shrimp cauliflower fried rice with bell peppers and onions, and it's gonna be amazing. It smells amazing. It's super warm, and I can't wait to eat it. Normally, when I have dinner, I am either watching a TED talk, listening to a podcast, or watching Netflix. And today, I feel like I've been. Slightly unproductive. Not that I've been slightly unproductive, but I'm gonna watch a TED talk called How I Found Myself Through Music. So I'm gonna watch that right now. Mm -hmm. 